I want to talk about this new Trump audio that CNN released where Trump is openly discussing sharing classified documents with staff and reporters after claiming to have handed all of those classified documents over to the National Archives and he hid them and showed them off to reporters and staff who did not have classification clearance, including documents which sound like they pertain to a potential invasion of Iran, which should be a story of its own. Anyway, let's listen. Breaking news. We have obtained what is expected to be a central piece of the government's case against Donald Trump. The actual audio recording, recording of the former president talking as if he's showing a highly classified document on U.S. war plans against Iran with people not clear to even know it exists, let alone what's in it. By the way, I just want to say again, because we're probably not going to hit on it again. I've seen very little discussion in the major news about, wait a second, why does he have these potential war plans about Iran? Was he seriously considering potential war plans against Iran? I mean, he did kill Soleimani. He did say on national television that he wanted to commit war crimes in Iran, particularly the targeting of cultural sites. This is the same guy who on the campaign trail talked about killing the families of terrorists, aka targeting civilians. It's not completely out of the ordinary. It's not completely out of, of what we would imagine from the fire and fury guy, from the guy who so drastically escalated drone strikes in the Middle East. In a moment, only on CNN, you will hear what jurors will hear one day. The recording was made two summers ago, July 2021, at the former president's club in Bedminster, New Jersey. You will clearly hear the former president as he is speaking to several people. According to the special counsel's indictment, they include a writer working on Mark Meadows' memoir, the publisher, and two of Trump's staff members. The president was aware he was being recorded. This is the first time it is being played publicly. These are bad, sick people. That, but, was, that was your coup, you know, the, against you. That's well, it started they, right at the like beginning. Like when Millie's talking about, oh, you were going to try to do a coup. No, they, they were trying right. to do that before you even were sworn in. That's right. Trying no, to yeah. overthrow your election. Well, with Millie, uh, let me see that. I'll, I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but... Do you think... I, I like that he just, like, throws that out there. Like, this is off the record. Just throws that out there quickly. It's like, okay, now I got all my bases covered. I said it was off the record. They can't do anything now. Yeah, I, dude, I'm sure... I'm sure if I said, hello, Mr. President, I'm head of uh, United Toilet Cleaners of America. I just wanted to talk to you about... You know, uh, you know, regulations around blah blah, and I could just like wander off. That I would say, "Nice suit, Mr. President." And by the end of maybe a thirty-minute conversation, where I just kind of wandered into his office, has no clue where I am. I think there was a period of time where I could have just stumbled upon like classified documents, where he would have just been like, you know, just to try to impress me or just impress random people. Just he's just gonna bust out like, "Want to see what we're gonna do to those Koreans?" <laughs> it's so wild, man. He just doesn't care. And again, I just want to remind you all that while in office, Donald Trump increased the penalty for the Presidential Records Act. He did that in reaction to the Hillary Clinton email story. And he was like, we need to take this, this, this classified documents and, and information that should not be in the eyes of the public. We need to take this type of security seriously. So I'm going to increase the penalty that immediately violates the law once he gets out of office immediately violates the law does not go through the proper declassification priorities i mean the the proper declassification channels and then tries to hide the documents from the national archives as they ask for them back i mean this there there you couldn't have made it at more clear to donald trump exactly why what he doing what he was doing is illegal they presented me this this was him this was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's oh, see here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this totally wins my case. Oh, man, the irony. Except it is like highly, highly confidential. <laughs> Remember, Trump's whole defense 
is that he can at any point go declassified. That was his whole defense. And when we were talking to, you know, Rob Nor and the other people, it was me, Destiny, and others debating Rob Nor and the rest of them on uh, this scandal, on Donald Trump's case around this. One of the arguments that KOE made is that he has the ability to do this. And I said, from the audio that we saw, from the statements from the audio that we saw, that does not seem to be the case. And he didn't believe me. He didn't take it. He said, oh, there's not enough evidence. Well, now we have the audio. Now we can listen to the audio. And he is clearly saying out loud that it is highly confidential. And if it is highly confidential, that means he didn't declassify it. That means this is still classified documents that he's brazenly just showing to random people without the classification requirements to see these documents. <laughs> this is secret information. But look, look at this. You attack. And Hillary would print that out all the time, you know. <laughs> private email. No, she, and he's, they're joking about it right now, like, oh, man, Hillary would be so unsafe with this classified information as he's shuffling through, like, nuclear launch codes and, like, invasion plans of Venezuela, North Korea, Iran, just shuffling all these papers around, sensitive location data for spies around the globe. And they're laughing about somebody else and mocking them for being improper. With, with this private information. You send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ha, 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 she would be so, so unsafe with these documents. Anyway, you wanna see uh, see this uh, this uh, drawn uh, graph of exactly where we keep all of our nuclear weapons. The pervert. Um, <laughs> by the way, isn't that incredible? Though? Yeah. I was just saying, because we were talking about it. <laughs> and you know, he said, he wanted to attack Iran and what? And he said you the did. Wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to de-classify. figure out a. a yeah. Since president, I could have declassified. Yeah. It. yeah. And there it is, right there, right there. That's the killer. That's the killer. As president, I could have declassified it meaning he is saying that he didn't declassify it and acknowledging the fact that once he is no longer president, he no longer has the authority to declassify this information, which is the authority of the, which is the argument the Trump defenders make. This is like, shut, like shut K, this is over. And I talked about this audio beforehand because we had transcripts of the, of this audio, but the, the only defense that Trumpers could make around this audio was, well, we got to wait until the audio's out and we can listen to it so we can know the context. We know the context now. You could, he couldn't be any clearer that he completely understands that what he is doing is illegal. And that's why I asked for it to be off the record. No, I can't, you know, but this is- Yeah, classic. now we have a problem. There it is, and now I can't. He's acknowledging he no longer has the classification authority. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. I mean, it's so, I'm look, we here and I have, and you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe it's you. incredible, right? No, they, hey, bring some, uh, bring some bring some cokes in, please. Well, joining us now, CNN anchor and chief correspondent Caitlin Collins. Also, okay, I don't need to. I don't need to know all the. I don't need all the CNN side commentary. Morally, I don't need any of that. The only, the only purpose, the only purpose of me showing this to you guys, because we already read the transcript during that debate we had about this. The only reason I'm showing you this uh, this to you guys is A, at the time people were saying, wait for the context, wait for the audio to be played. Maybe it'll change the situation. It hasn't. The audio, honestly, now that we can listen to them joking about Hillary and, and all of that in between, that they're joking about somebody else for being unsafe about classified do documents as he's actively showing it to random reporters and staffers who do not have that level of classification. They do not have access to these types of documents. They have not been cleared to see these documents. This would be like me like bullying somebody else for drunk driving as I'm actively drunk driving and texting on my phone on the road. You, you could not make this any more ironic. You could not design uh, something uh, that, that would better feel Phil, uh, the, the incompetency standard that Donald Trump has, has constantly worked to improve the line on every single time in offense and making sure that he gets more and more incompetent, more and more clueless every single time he gets into a scandal. He increased the penalty for violating this law, then violated the law, and while violating the law, he mocked somebody else for violating the law. The very same law he increased the penalties for, all while clearly stating that he doesn't have the authority to show them these documents and he could not do it anymore 
as uh, since he's no longer the president of the United States, which is now the crux of many of the people defending Donald Trump. This is so open and shut. This is so open and shut, man, uh, that it's honestly kind of baffling. But there are some people who no matter what, are going to praise this man to the end of the road, to, to, to the end of the road, no matter how uh, terrible it gets for Trump. Trump's their choice. Trump's who they're voting for. Trump's their guy. This doesn't matter for them. This doesn't, this is not going to be a big, this is not going to have a big impact on them. And I would appreciate from those people if they just said, I don't care that he violated the law. He's just not a Democrat. Just be honest about it. Don't try to justify it. Don't say that actually, you know, Trump was mistaken at the time and he did have the declassification authority. Don't don't even try it, man. It's not worth it. Just just say, yes, he's a criminal, but he's my criminal and be done with it. OK, because I'll tell you, Hunter Biden, he's my criminal.